This is the Olympus OMD EM5 Micro Four Thirds camera. Now it's the latest model from Olympus in the OM range and it harks back to the original from the 70s. Now Olympus say they didn't start out to design it that way but that the first one was so easy to hold and comfy to hold that they kind of kept with it. Now this model has a 16 megapixel live MOS sensor. It also has 5 axis image stabilisation. Now, Olympus say the original models used to just be able to handle movement in pitch and yaw. But this one can also handle vertical movement, horizontal movement, and also movement around the lens axis. So it should prove really stable when shooting video and stills. Now this Olympus can shoot sequential shots at 9 frames per second. But that's on a single focus and without the image stabilisation enabled. If you're using those things then it's more like 4.2 frames per second. Now we'll see that this model has no built-in flash but it does have a hot shoe mount and you do get a flash supplied in the box which just fits onto the top here. You can also see around the back that you've got an electronic viewfinder and also here I'll show you switch it on you've got this OLED screen three inches and it also tilts so you can tilt it downwards by 50 degrees there to help you avoid reflections and also you can tilt it upwards to 80 degrees here. Now the screen is also a touch screen, so you can use it to take the shot. So if I show you here, you can put it outside and just touch where I want it to focus and it will take the shot at the same time. Now there are a number of function buttons on this camera. There's one here at the back, there's another one here on the top and one here that you can see on the lens. And you can use those and program them to do whatever you want them to do, the things that you use the most. As you'd probably expect, this camera has full manual modes as well as an aperture priority and shutter priority modes, as well as scene modes and also an auto function so you can just use it as a point and shoot to if you want to. Now when you're in the manual modes you can use both of these wheels here to control things like the aperture and shutter speed and it's really handy because you can reach it with both fingers so you can turn them really easily while you're focusing and looking through either the, the viewfinder or the monitor. So one thing I have found with just a short period of time that I've had this in my hand is how small some of these buttons are to use. This playback button is tiny and it's quite fiddly to press. Also these buttons here are quite difficult to use, especially the upward button here which is very close to the info button. Now it's not too terrible because if you're changing things like the aperture and some of the settings you can use these wheels here to make all of those adjustments. Now this Olympus shoots video at 1080i and it has got a built-in microphone. But you can also use this adapter socket here to attach an external microphone or also a Bluetooth adapter as an additional option. Now there are additional grips available for this camera. As you can see I've just attached one here. You just twist this lock here and it locates with a pin. It's quite easy to fit and it actually makes it very comfortable to hold without adding much to the weight. You barely notice it in your hand. And it does make it much easier to use and you've got this additional dial here for changing some more settings. Now Olympus say for a limited time when it launches the grip with another additional grip that fits to the bottom will be available initially but after that time you'll have to buy them separately if you want them. Now on here at the moment I've got the 12 to 50 millimeter lens and this is the kit lens that it'll come with when you buy it. Of course it is compatible with other Olympus lenses and also a number of Panasonic lenses too. Now if you're buying it as a kit with this lens it will cost around £1,100 and it's going to be available from April. So if you want to find out more about this camera and the other Micro Four Thirds cameras we've tested go to witch.co.uk.